In this presentation we are going to look at the ECAM flight control page computer indications and its meaning. There are five computers shown in ECAM flight control display page 2 ELAC computers and 3 secondary computer. Normal display of computer shows in white and green. It becomes amber if the related computer fails or has been switched off. Normal display of pitch trim shows white and green. In amber when pitch trim jams or in case of low pressure of both hydraulic system. Whereas aileron and elevator actuator indication is normally in green. It becomes amber in case of related hydraulic low pressure. Or partially boxed amber if the related computer or actuator fails. For rudder hydraulic systems pressure indication normally in green. And in amber in case of related hydraulic low pressure. Spoiler and pitch trim hydraulic system pressure indication is identical to rudder hydraulic system pressure indication as per in the previous slide. Spoiler up arrow indication in green if it is deflected by more than 2.5 degrees. No up arrow if it is retracted. In amber up arrow and position number of spoiler shows in amber when fault is detected. In amber position number of spoiler shows when it detects fault when retracted or inhibited. On the other hand yaw control indication shows rudder position normally in green. In amber in case of low pressure in all hydraulic circuits. The rudder travel limiter normally in green. Rudder and pedals deflections are limited as a function of the speed. The rudder travel limiter shows in amber in case of travel limiter 1 and 2 fault. The rudder trim position normally in blue. In amber in case of rudder trim reset fault. White dots indicate the different selectable positions. In clean configuration only the actual slats or flaps position is shown in green. Blue dots appear to indicate the target position during surfaces transit. When the target position is reached the blue dots disappear. The actual position is in amber when. The related both hydraulic system fail or. The related wingtip brakes are applied or. There is a related slats or flaps fault. The flaps lever position indication appears in green when the target position is reached. Position 0 is not displayed in clean configuration. The flaps lever position indication appears in blue during surfaces transit. S and F indication. S and F are not displayed in clean configuration. But when they appear normally in white and in amber when the related both hydraulic systems fail or there is a slat or flaps fault. Flaps locked, replaces F when the wingtip brakes are applied. Slats locked, replaces S when the slats wingtip brakes are applied. A lock, replaces S and pulses due to alpha speed lock function activation which inhibits the slats retraction from 1 to 0 or at high angle of attack and low speed. Flaps lever allows the simultaneous operation of the slats and flaps. There are 5 detents, 0, 1, 2, 3 and full, which can be selected. Before selecting any position the lever must be pulled out of the detent. The detents 1 and 3 have bulks to prevent excessive surface travel with a single action. There is an intermediate lever position which cannot be selected. ELEC FAC SEC push buttons. Each push button switch controls its related computer. If there are no lights means the related computer performs normally its functions. If fault light appears the related computer is faulty. The fault light appears momentarily only during a related ELEC power up test. 
When off light is on it means that the related computer is not active. Switching off then on resets the related computer. There are memo messages which appears during takeoff and landing. Ground spoiler armed message indicates that the ground spoilers are armed. Takeoff memo confirms that the aircraft is fully configured for takeoff. Ground spoilers are armed and flaps lever is correctly set for takeoff. On the other hand landing memo confirms that the aircraft is fully configured for landing ground spoilers are armed and the flaps lever is correctly set at full and at config 3 if in alternate law or in direct law or GPWS landing flap 3 mode push button switch has been set to on. Each time the speed brakes are extended speed brake message appears in green when in flight from 1500 feet down to touchdown or in amber and flashing after engine start and on takeoff until 1500 feet or when displayed in green and 50 seconds after the engine thrust is above idle. Pitch protection indication on primary flight display shows double green lines at 15 degrees nose down and at 30 degrees nose up marks its pitch attitude limits. If the pilot holds full vertical side stick deflection, the pitch attitude goes to the maximum and no further. The maximum nose up limit depends on the speed and the selected config. An amber cross, replacing the double green lines indicates that the pitch limit protection is lost. Roll protection on primary flight display shows double green lines on each side of the bank angle scale marks the bank angle limits. If the pilot holds full lateral side stick deflection, the bank angle goes to this maximum and no further. An amber cross on each side indicates that the bank angle limit protection is lost. A white cross on primary flight display indicates the total of the first officer and captain's side stick orders. It appears after starting the first engine. It does not indicate the surface positions which are only indicated on the ECAM flight control page. The four white corners on the primary flight display shows the maximum side stick deflection. They appear after starting the first engine. The top of the amber black strip indicates the speed relating to angle of attack at which the protection is active. The top of the red strip indicates the speed relating to the maximum angle of attack that the aircraft can reach in normal law. Two green bars indicate the high speed protection at VMO plus 6 knots. The lower end of the red black strip indicates VMAX. It is the lowest of VMO or MMO. VFE maximum speed for each flap configuration. VLE maximum speed with gear extended. Two amber bars, for VFE next, indicate the VFE of the next flap's lever position, here position 2. S, for minimum slats retraction speed, appears when the flap's lever is in position 1. F, for minimum flaps retraction speed, appears when the flaps lever is in position 3 or 2. The pitch trim values are indicated by the scales on the trim wheels. These values have to be only used on ground. The takeoff trim range is given by the green band. The pitch trim wheels provide mechanical control of the trimmable horizontal stabilizer and have priority over the electrical control. A pilot action on the trim wheels disconnects the engaged autopilot. After touchdown the trim wheels will move automatically to reset the pitch trim to zero. Rudder trim position indicator on center pedestal displays the current rudder trim direction, left or right and its value. 
Rudder trim rotary switch allows the pilot to move the neutral position of the rudder artificial feel system. When an autopilot is engaged, the rotary switch is not active. Reset push button when pressed, it orders a zero trim position at a determined rate. Rudder pedals. The rudder pedals allow manual yaw control. The rudder pedals remain stationary regardless of any autopilot input. Also, there is no feedback to the pedals from the yaw damping and turn coordination functions. When a pilot uses his rudder pedals the rudder pedals of the other pilot moves in the same time. When the rudder trim is used the neutral position of the rudder pedals moves as well. The rudder pedal adjuster is used to adjust the position of the rudder pedals according to the pilot legs length. In the A320 family, the side stick allow the pilots to achieve manual roll and pitch control. Each side stick is spring loaded to neutral and receives no feedback from the flight control surfaces and also from the other side stick. If both side sticks are moved simultaneously the orders are algebraically added. If an autopilot is engaged, they are locked in neutral position, but the pilot must apply a force, around 5 deca newton in pitch or 3.5 deca newton in roll to give back the sticks free the red takeover push button switch allows a pilot to disconnect the autopilot or by pressing and holding it for more than 40 seconds to deactivate the opposite side stick and obtain full control to recover control a pilot simply has to momentarily press his takeover push button switch when there are no lights appear on side stick priority panels means nobody moves his side stick or a pilot has taken his priority and the other pilot's side stick is at neutral. The green light comes on in front of the pilot having priority when the other pilot's side stick. The green light comes on in front of the pilot having priority when the other pilot's side stick is not at neutral. The red light comes on in front of the pilot losing authority. An audio voice message priority right or left is generated each time priority is taken with the side stick takeover push button. Both green lights flashes when the pilots move both side sticks simultaneously and nobody took priority an audio message dual input is generated. Speed brake lever located on center pedestal allows the pilot to arm the ground spoiler function by pulling the lever up provided it is in the retracted position. Or to control the speed brake surfaces to a required position by pushing down and moving the lever to the required position. A hard point is provided at the half position. A white band appearing around the base of the speed brake lever indicates that the ground spoilers are armed. Rudder pedal disconnect push buttons. As long as the rudder pedal disconnect push button is maintained and pressed in, it removes the control of the nose wheel steering from the rudder pedals. <laughs>